guys, happy Sunday morning. It's about 9.30ish, Sunday morning, June 30th, I think. Uh, pretty sure. Anyway, we are getting ready to head to the beach for a couple of days. And uh, as I said in last week's vlog, last night we got home from... 29th. Doing, it's the 29th. Oh, it's not the 30th. Tomorrow's the 30th. I never get it right. Anyway, as I said in last week's vlog, when we got home last night, we came home to um, some a few sugar ants in the kitchen. So we're, we did some cleaning and prepping um, and we'll do some more before we leave. And then we're gonna head to the beach for a few days and not think about it and de-stress, do some walking and shopping and eating and <laughs> all the shopping. things. Shopping, of course, always shopping. <laughs> anyway, I made this bag quite a while ago now and it has a actually insert for organizing your things and um I, I love it I'm gonna bring it this trip I actually haven't used it yet I've made it quite a few months ago so um we're gonna use it this trip but I have to tell you I love it so already anyway and of course I'm bringing my yarn bag and we're bringing a bag of snacks and we've overpacked but that's what happens when we're in the car so anyway that's it for right now. I'll be back when we hit the road. Okay, you guys, we just had a really great brunch at Camp 18 which is a restaurant off of Highway 26 tour in Seaside. And they it's an old logging camp, so they have all this. I've talked about it before. Anyway. It's 18 miles off from the coast. Yeah, 18 miles. It's one of our favorite places to stop. And then after we eat, we walk around. They have some good desserts. So of course we take a cinnamon roll and a piece of Marionberry cobbler with us to go. Cinnamon rolls, again, I talked about this before, literally the size of my head. So anyway. All right, we're gonna go get some steps in. I'll be back. We come here as often as possible. At least once a year. At least, yeah, at least once a year minimum. Twice. I know there are a lot of people who, when they travel, they don't like to go to the same place twice, but when we find a place we love, like the Oregon coast, we come as many times as we can squeeze into the schedule. So anyway, and I love the place that we're staying at. Nice and clean, very well appointed. Our suite has an ocean view. And it, we did with a little balcony, and we didn't even know it is a suite with two bedrooms. So I'll leave a link to their site down below. Check them out if you're coming this way. And uh, we're gonna go walk on the beach, which sounds like a great idea to me. I'll be back. Everybody, it is Monday morning, July 1st, and this is our view outside the window. Hold on, we woke up to a coffee. Right. Oh, can't say I'm mad about it. We are going to get ready to start our day, and we're going to do some more walking around. We don't do a lot of driving when we are here when we come down this way. Um, we do more walking. Um, 
which I'm all about that. I got well over 10,000 steps last night. I think it was like 12,000 or something. Um, so we'll do more of that today. Plus, of course, hit a couple of shops that are our usual that we like to go to, plus one new one. There is a thrift store here that we like to go to and support. It's a animal charity shop, uh, cats specifically, I think. Um, but they're closed today. They're closed Mondays. But we will go there tomorrow before we leave. We, um, tomorrow or Wednesday before we go home. So anyway, I think that's it for the minute. We're going to get dressed and get our day started and I'll be back. such a good Monday just walking around the area driving into Cannon Beach walking around over there we came back sat down and chilled for a bit now we're out for a walk again on the promenade here in Seaside one of our favorite places to be in Oregon out on the prom, on the prom. That's the call. yep short so I'm gonna go for a late afternoon stroll before we eat pizza from Angelina's, one of our favorite places to eat out in Seaside. The place. Recommend you go there. The place. Also the Tsunami Sandwich Shop. Pretty sure that was the name of it. Tsunami Sandwich Shop, yes. pretty sure. Anyway, they had really good sandwiches. They were really good too. All right. Let's go get some steps in. I'll be back. In Seaside, Oregon, walking on the promenade, as I just said. And I just spied this. They crocheted around a pole, decorated the pole. How cool is that? It's pretty cool. I love it. Now, I've got some things coming up that stress me out and nothing is nothing bad just me and my anxiety working overtime but anyway this sure does help keep me calm I love it I'd move here full-time if somebody would let me oh, geez, my phone. Yeah. always okay. <laughs> anyway how do you not love that view helps if I turn the camera on Good morning, it's Tuesday, July 2nd. This is the view that we wake up to while we're here. I don't know how you can hate that. Anyway, we're getting ready to start our day, walk around town, explore the things, probably do some more walking on the beach, all that. So I'm gonna have some more coffee and and then we'll get started. Okay, you guys, so we did some walking around and we stopped at our uh, favorite local charity shop here in Seaside. Um, it is a cat rescue charity and um, so glad to see that the thrift shop is still there because last time we were here, there was some debate about their lease and it, um, losing their lease. But anyway, um, I found some really cool vintage crochet magazines there. One of them's from the 1970s and um, one skein of yarn that I don't know what it is, but it's super soft. It's not acrylic. Um, I guess it's some kind of alpaca blend. But anyway, um, all for like $8. I know. And anyway, so we're going to go. We had some lunch at our favorite, new favorite sandwich shop, Tsunami Sandwich, um, here in Seaside. And we're going to go now. We came back use the restroom we're going to go for a drive up to Astoria 
and do some walking around up there or driving around or something and I'll bring you with us when I can. I'll be back. Which we're going to go to. We're in Warrington right now. which didn't even know this was here. Oh, and look, our little friend. He's like, oh, we're here. Yeah. That's not happening, dude. Sorry. That's where I asked the husband, where are you taking me? Because we're seemingly in the woods in the middle of nowhere. We're at the... Wildlife viewing area. Mm -hmm. Anyway, it is pretty and it's right near the ocean, so there's that. It's the uh, mouth of the Columbia River. Mm -hmm. It's where it hits the Pacific Ocean. I see water. It's all good. You said you wanted to walk on a beach today. Sandy. Yeah. Pretty cool. Are those mussels? I think those are mussels. Or clams. What's that? Guys, it is our last day at the beach. It is go home day. I'm gonna miss it. I can't wait till next time already. Anyway, it's time to go home. It's July 3rd. It's, I don't know. It's not 10 a.m. yet, I don't think. Um, tomorrow's the 4th of July, a holiday here in the United States, and we will be celebrating with all the kids and the grandson and all the things. So there's a lot to do today. We've got to go home. We've got to unpack, clean, up some things at the house. Hopefully the ants aren't back in the kitchen. <laughs> um, and go grocery shopping. So, yeah. <sighs> anyway, I'm going to take my moments to rest when I can today. All right, I'll be back. Guys, it is Friday morning, 11, 15 a.m. The 5th. The f yeah, Friday, July 5th. We are just getting started. We're gonna go out and do a couple of fun things and then do a not so fun thing, AKA go to Costco. We need a, we need a few things. Um, we didn't film anything yesterday because number one, I forgot. Number two, we were spending time with the family and the grandson. And you know what? That's fine. It's what it's all about, kinda. So anyway, we had a good time yesterday. Anyway, that was a lot of crows. It was a murder of crows. A murder of crows, yeah. Um, so anyway, we're going to go run some errands today. I don't know what else we're going to get into. We did watch Capricorn 1 last night after everyone left. If you haven't seen it yet, it is a pretty good movie. Um, it, was, it came out in the 70s. It came out in the 70s. Late it 70s. was interesting. Um, do I appreciate that they left the movie at the end with a bunch of unanswered questions? No. Because that's me. I like all my questions answered at the end of the movie. But, you know. Anyway. But it was pretty good. Uh, anyway. Alright. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. Guys, it is 3.10 p.m. Saturday, July 6th. And it's been a productive day. We are staying inside. It's going to be like 100 degrees outside for the next few days so unless we have to we're not really going anywhere except I have to on Monday because mammogram day anyway that's next week's vlog um today I caught caught up on daily drawings and journaling um cleaned up some stuff in here in the art room I also made another bag I have a bag obsession I know it's a thing um I was inspired by a channel whose name I don't remember. Uh, let's see if I can find her. My tablet, other tab, well, my tablet is right next to me. Um, 
she does a lot of bags and sewing things from dollar store materials. And of course now I'm talking, oh, here we go. Um, Chelsea, her name is Chelsea. Um, and she has some tutorials for making things from stuff from the dollar store. And I saw one of her videos a while back where she showed some of the springtime and summertime dollar store dish drying mats. I thought that was really interesting material to work with, maybe to make a bag out of. I wonder how hard that would be to work with. No, 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 no. So anyway. <laughs> Uh, uh. This is a dollar store dish drying mats. It's a nice big bag. I put three grommets in the top and used the scraps left over to make a pocket. I It took four drying mats. Because the mats have foam in them, I didn't use interfacing. I did line the whole thing with cotton to add some sturdiness um, to the dish drying mat fabric and the foam. And I also use this cotton webbing that I usually use for handbag handles. Um, put a zipper on it. Um, it's got a big pocket on the outside. There's another one on the inside. And um, it fits my, you know, yarn project, whatever current project I'm working on, uh, really well, actually. Now, on the grommets, um, you know, if I'm traveling with this bag, these are good to... You can have your yarn poking out. You can work on something. You can kind of stuff your hook and your thing in here, but the rest of the bag can just stay closed. Um, but I was worried about the foam and or fabric from the dish mat ripping over time. So I actually did some buttonholes first, cut them open and then stretched them a little bit and put the grommet in the buttonhole just to add some extra stitching. Um, I also used some fray check, which is a fabric glue, uh, around the buttonholes. I also used it on the ends of the webbing where they connect, which is underneath the pocket. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think they're out of stock now, which might be a good thing because I'd be tempted to go get four more in a different pattern and go make another one. It's pretty cute though. Um... And it's sort of a suitcase shape. I didn't film it, but if you all want me to, I can make another one, but probably out of different materials. <coughs> it wasn't hard to do. It took a couple of hours. And, um, yeah, I have this thing about making bags. So if you've been watching me for a while, it's not a surprise. Anyway, uh, I got the plants watered. I got the dishes done. I have to put laundry away, but I'm really kind of avoiding it at the moment because <laughs> um, it's a lot. <laughs> and um, yeah, I'm going to just sit and chill for a little bit. I'll be back. This clip is being filmed on Sunday because did I remember to close the vlog last night? Well, nope. <laughs> so first thing this morning, I did notice that... Um, quite a few people are asking how I made the bag that I posted about on social media yesterday and I spoke about in the vlog. Again, the picture is here. Um, at some point I will do a tutorial on it. I don't know if I can find any more of these dollar store drying mats. Um, I will be going out either later today or tomorrow to go look. And, um, if I can't, I will, um, show a tutorial about how I made the bag with something else, but in the same dimensions. So that will be upcoming at some point. And yeah, um, I'm also working on a sweater that I'm almost done with that I have absolutely no pattern for. I'll put a picture here of it as it currently is. I need to put the sleeves on. I haven't taken really any pictures of it or anything until now. Um, so yeah, it's been a fun week. We loved spending time at the beach. It was really great also on July 4th to just spend a chill day with the kids and the grandson and hang out here at the house. It was a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, it's been, a, it's been a good week. And uh, yeah, hot, but good. It's already blazing hot. Anyway, uh, that's it for this week. You know, I squeeze in creativity where I can these days and we will be starting to share the art room with Bob, my husband, and adopted um, son-in-law, Brian. 
and they will be working on models and miniatures and things like that. They have their own space up there. And it is sort of a family creative space. It's not just all about me anymore. So I'm all right with that. Um, so we've done a little bit of rearranging up there to accommodate that, but we'll speak about that in next week's vlog. And um, yeah, it's all good. You know, I one of the reasons I love my bags, I, I know I have a bag problem, but I love my bags, I like that one, um, is because I can just shove them full of whatever creative project I'm working on at the moment. Um, lately, it's been crochet mostly, but, and take it with me wherever I am. And it, whether it's five minutes in the waiting room waiting for my mammogram, or um, it's because we're driving around town, um, running errands, I can get a few stitches in here and there, uh, a little bit of coloring or drawing or something. And yeah, I'm good with that. So squeeze it in where you can, when you can, and um, be happy with that, because why not? All right, that's it for this week. Relevant links um, will be in the video description, along with ways to support the free content here on YouTube. Um, questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them down below. I do reply to all of my comments. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And the most important thing, go out and do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it. All right, I'll see you next week. Bye, guys.